Hey folks, welcome to episode 17 of our RimWorld Beta 18 playthrough with the Dream Team, which consists now of two of our five founding members, just Snake Eyes and Grizzly. We lost Doc last episode along with many people. Um, I thought things couldn't get much darker than 15 or 14, but we basically had to intentionally euthanize someone just to, just to feed ourselves and survive. We had break risks. Snake Eyes stabbed Doc with his uh, elephant tusk. Uh, Doc laid there, unable to be rescued by anyone, really, and then died of malnutrition. Actually, I could have rescued him, but I didn't think he was hurt that bad. Uh, it turns out it wasn't the, the scratch on his left leg that did him in. It was the uh, the malnutrition extreme. So anyway, so there's just three of us. We're trying to get back on track. Things seem decent, although the food issue that we thought we'd fixed a few episodes ago, or at least I thought, um, became a huge problem. We're expanding our growing. I mean, we've got all this, which is mostly food crops now. We've got heel root here, smoke leaf here, just a small section of heel root. Besides that, it's all food. Um, we're extending our rice down to here. Got a corn year-round room. Trees, more trees over here. And because of this pattern, actually, we're not getting great tree density. These jagged patterns, I think, are not great for trees. <clears throat> But I don't know. We'll take what we can get. We've been, we basically had no wood for a while now, and I think it's sort of slowing down some things. Like, oh, well, we got beds. A lot of them are steel beds, and I don't want to use that. Uh, oh, this is sandstone. Yeah. So we're working on our wall. Uh, we've got limestone chunks here to start making blocks with. I noticed someone cutting blocks, but I think it's probably fallen to a pretty low priority. We're definitely going to keep our eyes open for any sort of recruits or anything, although we can't really go out and save anyone. Uh, with our guns and traps, we could defend against someone being chased, I think. Um, and hopefully with our losses, uh, the size and strength of the of the raids that show up won't be quite as strong as as they could be otherwise. You know, if they show up with a bunch of rocket launchers, we could be in some serious trouble. Major break risk. Yeah... Grizzly, your lover barrow died. That's going to take over a, a season to get over. Ugly environment, yeah. Eight without table. Hmm. Your expectations are low. Yeah, I would imagine they would be after what happened. But here comes a raid. Pirates of the Merchants. They're going to use sappers. Although there's not too many of them. Three guys with grenades, huh? And then what are you holding again? A steel ship. So really, if we can avoid the... Um, we can avoid the grenades landing on us. This should be pretty manageable. Why is that? That was a gift left by someone. I wonder why it was forbidden. We have no cotton growing for our, rec for our billiards table. I just noticed. Not a huge priority right now. It's a... So this is why it might have been a good idea to get a couple sandbag areas outside of here. Although, honestly, um, oh, we only have one. Oh no. I thought we had only one ranged guy. Let's get you guys out and graves I think do act as cover. Can you get that far? We can definitely outrange these guys. So Grizzly, why don't you stop short here? Yaroslav, maybe stop you short here. Hopefully we can get some shots off. Before they get too close. Snake Eyes, we're going to recruit you. And we'll just have you... Looks like they're going high, so... Just sit by the wall for now. Okay, you're fine there. Get some shots off. Maybe get a headshot in. Okay, back up. Back up. Run, Yaroslav. Okay, excellent. Where's the pistol guy? Luckily, the pistol guy is somewhere else. Is he slow? Yeah, bad back. Stab scar on his right leg. Yeah, this guy can't move as fast, which is great, because he's their only guy that can really range us. And get ready to move. Get ready to move, buddy. Oh, got you. That's my fault. Uh, where's Grizzly? Let's get you up here. Okay. 
Um, stay right there. And in fact, I'm gonna have gr I'm gonna have you go out and get these uh, guys. Grizzly, get out of there. Oh shit. Oh nice. I might have gotten him. So you run in here. And maybe he'll chase us in. Uh, are you still on fire? Damn it. Uh, you're gonna go extinguish fire on Yaroslav. Get in there, Grizzly. Okay. Uh, so they just, I think this guy insulted his friend on the way on their way back. Hey, well, just insulted Whitney. Um, maybe for some bad grenade throws. I don't know. I mean, Ted did hit us, so... Uh, Yaroslav, you're resting? I'm botching this as usual. Okay, let's get you back out here. Okay, the gun guy has showed up. Um, Grizzly. They're getting closer, yes. Oh, I thought he was going to get dead. Okay, Grizzly. Come on, get Mole here. Have to keep an eye on this. Oh, we need a headshot. Nice. Yaroslav, we need you up. You can you can take care of that later. Let's get you up here. Yeah, go out that way. Surround him. Grizzly's in range to get some shots off. Get just a bit closer. Snake Eyes is sitting tight. Once they run in, if they do, okay, Chen's responding. I want you. To, yeah, go ahead and fire at Chen. He's really he's sort of the biggest threat because he can actually damage our guys. I mean, yeah, the wall is coming down, but we've got our double wall. Come on, Grizzly. We need you to land a shot here, buddy. In fact, why are you not using cover? My mistake. Okay, good. Yaroslav's here. They're in. So, who do we got here? Graves? Yeah, go melee attack them. Oh, what a, that guy's got a good arm, man. Plus, those blow up right away. Okay, you're down. Can I use you as cover? I don't know. Okay, they're fleeing. Great. So, you guys get ready to hit them on their way out. Grizzly, you're fine here. Nice. Great. Alright, rest up, guys. Anyone hurt that bad? Some burns and bruises. You got your left humerus cracked. I don't think I've seen a humerus injury before. Um, you got the stab and a crack. Yaroslav, we got some burns. We should be okay. Let's unforbid everything. Uh, we are done with... Yeah, we've got food coming in. We're not going to cannibalize these guys. In fact, let's get these meals turned off. Is this the human one? No. I think the meals I, I is still disabled. Or right, these are the same. It's kind of a pointless double job. I hope I didn't... And then this is just vegetarian. I'm getting rid of that too. Just use whatever. Um, it could be useful during times when we really need to use meat for other things, like uh, kibble, I think, requires meat, so if we get to that point, then maybe we want to kind of focus on some vegetarian dishes for our guys, but for the time being, I don't think we need that. Oh, you're still up. Hello. Night Owl, Chemical fasc Fascination, and Jogger. Sounds familiar. It feels like exactly what uh, one of our other guys was. Uh, great skills. How's your health? You'll be dead in five hours. 
So it's going to be close. You're okay. You're okay. Snake Eyes, capture him. Uh, we're going to need a few more graves. Let's see. One, two, three, four. We'll go six. And you're no longer restricted. So I have to get these walls replaced. What do we got here? Granite? Yeah. And limestone. Peace talks opportunity. I'll take a peek. We're not really in, in any shape for traveling, obviously, but it might be close. That would take us only half a day to get there. It's worth thinking about. We have two weeks. Uh, we have to go past an outpost, which I do suspect increases your chances of um, getting ambushed. Now, and they are the only faction that's hostile that we can convert. I don't think you can become friends with a pirate band. Maybe if you... I mean, are they are they even friends with each other? Yeah, they hate each other too. I think these, these kinds of pirate bands just have no uh, alliances. I think is how it works. Uh, yeah, severe illness, no problem. Extreme Breakers, Grizzly. What do you need? Uh, yeah. Oh. You're going for a walk. Does anyone need tending? Yeah, tend to Grizzly and then feed Grizzly. Then you can take your walk. What about you? Oh yeah. Now you are resting. Okay, now Grizzly's returning the favor. Okay. Are you going to live? Oh yeah, I guess you're okay. Um, We're going to chat and recruit. Mm, your room's probably... Luckily it's summer. This room is not temperature controlled whatsoever. And in fact... How are we doing on components? Okay. Uh, when it gets hot, we are going to need some cooling. I, we have got, Actually, we have a few ACs. I thought we didn't really have many. Wow. So I unforbid this thing when it was on the heater, and it got moved three blocks basically away. People are just dropping, though, or <clears throat> getting new... Um, reassessing their priorities, I guess, on the fly. There's only three of us. Did get some weapons out of it, though. Let's get these in. Uh, pistol, I don't care as much about. Although, then again, maybe the frag grenades aren't even worth that much. Is this just damaged? Or it needs smoothing? Smoothing actually makes it uh, weaker. Or maybe I can just etch it. Oh, it's got to be smooth first. So it looks like these. I don't know. Uh, a smooth wall is less strong than a natural block, but you know it just looks it just looks weird. Guns are still on. We get those off. Got some rice crops coming in. I would just love to see this filled. That would look so nice. Do you guys have a nice chat? By the way, do our guys get along? No, you don't like Grizzly. He likes you. You don't care. You don't really like Yaroslav. He, he sort of likes you. Yeah, you don't like Grizzly either. But you love both guys. <laughs> Grizzly loves both Barrow. Oh, no. Barrow oh, is dead. Yeah. You actually don't like Yaroslav. But he likes you even less. A bulk goods trader. A lifesaver. Get up, Grizzly. Now... Tempted to get a couple hens. But we don't really have the food to feed them. Nutrient paste meals, too expensive, but meat is not super expensive. What would that cost us? Thirteen hundred? Hmm. <laughs> Unfertilized chicken egg. Those are kind of expensive. Let's say we get two hundred meat. We also want components. Uh, we have 19. Let's make it even 20. Um, what can we sell here? We can sell... I mean, this isn't a great price for Jade. But I think it's too little to make a statue. Is there? Is 70 the minimum for a statue? I think it is. 
So, I don't know. If we made this, if we got eight more, for example, assuming I'm right, and made it into something nice, we could sell it for much more than, uh, you know, 120 something, whatever this is. But, mm, we're gonna sell nine plasteel. Keep ourselves at 100. Blocks. Blocks sell for a dollar each, huh? About? That's not bad. Wood. What else we got? Some helmets here, 50%. And gold. Yeah, we'll sell a little bit of gold. 38, and we'll keep us at 150. Oh, we still can't afford this. 150 meat. What changed? Oh, we bought a component, I guess. This seems like a bad trade all around. But we need the meat. Let's get that in urgently, please. And are we getting any managing done? I'll have to keep an eye on the managing desk. We got steel over here. Agave ready to harvest. Now, that is on our... Uh, managing tasks, so... Who is managing? I, I don't think it's a high priority for anyone. Snake eyes. But first you're plant cutting, first you're constructing, first you're smithing. And you're also cleaning first. I'm going to have you just focus on managing real quick. I don't want to change your priority permanently, but... Uh, in fact, what's our prisoner looking like here? I didn't even look at his... 87? It's not great, but it's not terrible for a pirate band. Seems like the pirate bands often will give you a 99% guy. Who we, I think we already cr recruited one in this playthrough, a 99%er. Problem is, we don't really have any good social guys left. So it might be tough. We'll, we'll see if we can check the percentage chance next time. So Snake Eyes is done. Did he mark this? He did. Okay. So we might get some agave coming in. And any animals that are marked. I might add a temporary hunting job to hunt literally anything. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, so right now we're hunting things that don't explode, things that aren't predators for the most part. So, all. Yeah, anywhere. And increase that priority for now. We'll, <clears throat> we will, I uh, guess, uh, try and remember to delete that. Damn, these guys still aren't buried. I, no one is stuck in here, are they? Yeah. Uh, Snake Eyes, your construction. I guess we got the wall project, which Snake Eyes is prioritizing over the graves. Hmm. Still fresh. That's fortunate. What is this? Fur? Okay. Make clothes with it. Um, they'll get it eventually, I suppose. All this, too. Yeah, we could really use you, Maul. Let's see. Okay, someone dropped off food. Oh, is someone actually... Oh, no one's actually in a, in a full wardening. Okay. Let's get that full. Okay. No one was even trying. They were just doing the basic stuff, like bring food... Uh, maybe execute and stuff. 1.8% chance. Oof. Well, we'll keep them for a while. Uh, once the food even comes close to getting low, though, we might... Um, I don't know. We could release them. Does anyone have any health issues? Like a uh, kidney that could be improved? No. Okay. Uh, Snake Eyes, now that you're up, let's have you get these two graves, I think it is. I'll, I'll queue up three. Oh, there's two guys in our freezer. Um, <laughs> which we don't want anymore. We do not want this. Did you bury someone? No, not yet. Um, now where are you going? Why are you leaving to build the grave? You don't need anything, do you? Yeah. Um, no, actually, build... Don't queue that. Okay. Okay, and now I want you to... 
bury these guys. Don't want to see a dead body every time we go to get lunch. Okay. So we'll get that those guys out of sight. Uh, is this held open? Oh, there's a steel shiv there. We don't have the limestone blocks to repair this upper wall, which actually should be the next highest priority. Do something like this so we can pop out and actually get some shots up on guys with some cover. Um, but first, so who is our basic crafter? Oh, okay, we only have one person cutting stone blocks, that's Grizzly. And he's quite busy. Snake eyes. Um, yeah, do it all. Do it all. Same for you, out of three. Even though you're not good at it. And you're our only tailor, so you're gonna have to do that too. Um, but do it after you get those stone blocks going, because we need to fix our base. Okay, um, I don't want these going bad. We're gonna need these for clothes, so I'll get an urgent haul on there. I kinda, I mean, I don't love doing an urgent haul in these situations. These guys are already desperate, hanging on by a thread. And they're most likely doing whatever's going to keep them, you know, from from snapping if they can. But all of this too, we cannot lose this. How's it looking? Fifty-six out of sixty. You know, we probably wouldn't, but uh, just so we're we're done. Except for you, Snake Eyes, I want you to cut stone blocks so we can fix this wall. In fact, just one would probably be enough. How do we get for one? Yeah, yeah twenty. That's enough to do this. So. Uh, prioritize that, that, and that. Although I queued it up, which was a mistake. I should have only queued up the last two, not all three. Now, now he's going, okay. One more and we'll feel a little bit safer. Though we, we do need to get some uh, granite in here. Which I'll go collect. Here's some. Yeah, let's get that in. Maybe we'll get an, another urgent haul in granite. No, we won't. We'll get to it when we get to it. More rice. So our raw food number is looking pretty good. And 42 meals. It's nice to see. Although our growing period is, is more than halfway over. And then we've got a long winter. And I don't know if this will be enough. Okay, this is nice to see, actually. And is your... What's your growing skill? Oh, your growing skill is excellent. That is a nice break for us. We're visiting a grave? Yeah, who's this? Is? Oh, your ex? Oh, no, wait, that was Grenakid's ex lover. So you're visiting? Wait, hold on a second. If I'm not mistaken, Oh, no, no, okay. Barrow is the one that... So, Rego and Grenaked were lovers. Rego was never part of the colony, though. She left, and then Grenaked married, I think, Barrow. And then Rego came back while being chased and joined. And, okay, so... For some reason, I got Grizzly confused with Barrow, so I thought he was visiting the grave of his late husband's mistress, or, or previous lover, or something. But that's not the case. The rec room. Working out okay. We, we People relax socially here. They seem to eat most of their meals down here, though. The placement probably isn't, uh, you know, central enough. But people use this table, so I'm fine. Excellent chairs. Got a dry thunderstorm, which could cause some issues with fires. Let's see, we got one already. Yeah, that's a problem. In fact, well, that kind of sucks. Uh, I'm going to make sure our home area encompasses this. 
And a little bit out too. And this, definitely. So we lost some trees. Uh, we're going to go ahead and harvest the burn trees. And that'll actually get us a little bit of wood. The nice thing about this too is they're not going to deteriorate from being unroofed. I mean, they will spoil in this temperature, but it takes three months. Almost a full year, actually. Three months plus 14 days, with 15 days being basically a month or a quadrum. You're deteriorating slightly, but you'll be fine, I think. Wait, we bought one component from that last uh, trade ship. Now, do we have enough growing area? We're plugging it the way at the wall. We seem to be kind of keeping up with the growing aside from the hauling it in. Some strawberries coming in. Yeah, for three people, this will be fine. 3.4% chance on that one. So going up. And you know, you do that every day or however however often they do it. And uh, uh, you know, 3.4% over time, it's eventually gonna happen. We got a heat wave. Okay. So this guy is going to be miserable, as is our hospital. We've got AC in here. AC for these two rooms. And AC for these four, all of which are unowned. We'll probably need another room, one for these rooms eventually. And in fact, Grizzly, uh, I'm going to set you in here. That way, we're, we have two ACs, kind of. I think this will be the coolest area. Keep you in that room. These, I mean, we might shut them off, but we're, we're, we're constantly at full battery, so we wouldn't gain anything. You know, it's not like we have an extra place to store that, which means maybe we need more batteries. Um, and in fact, I could maybe take this back a little bit, this zone. Stick two more in here. How would that look? One and two. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe do it like this, and then there, and there. Get three more in. Hmm. Two components. How are we doing on components? 19? Yeah, I mean, the, the thing is, what are the chances of, I mean, it would basically take both of these generators going out for us to kind of need those extra batteries. But we will get to them, but I'm, I'm hesitant to throw six components at that right now. Anyway, uh, heat wave coming. We have no temperature control in our, in our seating area here. We'll use our components for that for the time. Yeah, these take three. Okay, so we'll get one here, maybe in the middle-ish. That's not really the middle, but... Um, I hear about the light there. This is relatively cool. This will probably get pretty hot. Um, in fact, I might throw one more in. Say here. And this is also vented to here. Uh, we'll see. Maybe. So we've got three heating up these four rooms. This and this. It might be manageable. But we'll definitely start with the hospital. That one we will put in the middle. And yeah, we're going to have to uh, heat the prison or cool the prison. Unless we simply vent it. Yeah, I think we'll vent it instead. We'll use less materials. And this might mean we need to use um, two coolers. Well, wait a minute. I mean, if we need to use two coolers, we might as well put them down here. And then we can just turn this one off when we're not using it. Yeah, we'll use that. Because I don't care about heating this closet. Um... And then this guy's going to get a pretty big, pretty big drop off from uh, this room to down here. So yeah, we'll just get him, get him one, and then we'll turn it off when we don't need it. And again, power currently not a big issue for us, but we might want to get a crematorium going at some point. We're still working on that drilling, although research is probably. Oh yeah, no one's researching basically here. <laughs> we need. Um, your skills at research can't do it 
But you could pick up the slack in other ways. Snake Eyes could retire from construction, maybe. Um, you could do a little crafting to ease the load there, and then Snake Eyes could maybe shift over and be... And you also got medicine. Yeah, it would be nice to get you. Caravan, nice. Although we don't have much to sell, and we have very little money. But we'll take a look. got 80 bucks. What can we sell? We've already gone through 75 with that husky meat. We got 100, didn't we? Yeah, I think we did. We're up to almost 2,000 corn. I'm not selling that. Normally I would, but since our because of our food problems, uh, I'm not going to. Oh, we'll sell seven of this. Um, Boomalope. Uh, we can only... Let's see. Yeah, we'll sell two. Keep it an even number. 40, two, three. All the human leather. Maybe, no, we'll keep the herbal medicine. Hmm, that's about it. Yeah, we'll get 50 bucks off them. There's nothing we really need from them. Okay. They're tribal level, I guess, uh, so they don't have components and things. I'll hang out. Um, you know, I do want to change one of these to cotton. Do I take a slice off of this? No, I don't think so. Let's get these in. 15% grown. How long does cotton take to grow? Because we only have four more days. Uh, minimum. It might be more. Eight days. Nah, that's too risky. I, I might, I'm going to turn one of these into cotton. And you know I'm gonna kind of I am gonna get, kind of get some of these cash crops going. I mean we might it might make more sense to buy food with our with our smoke loop joints or something you know, as opposed to just growing rice and being desperate all the time. So we will get uh, one smoke leaf and one cotton. Uh, I'm gonna get a little bit greedy here and go two smoke leaf. And oh, the, the temperature is, out, is fine outdoors. Uh, these doors are driving me crazy. Get rid of those. Even though, the, I mean, they do, do, <laughs> they do use this one down here, which means it must be faster in some cases, but they seem to come out this way, so it's not a bad path. Um, new recruit. Fantastic. Welcome, Mole. And you picked the right... I'm glad you picked this room, too. These are staying cool. 71, we can definitely live with that, although it's only 90 outside. It could get to 115 or, or more. So that's good. Um, now, we can forbid for now. Yeah, don't build that yet. This needs to be built, though. Okay. We can afford it. Okay, so... Mole, what are we having you doing here? Firefight, patience. You are a good doctor. Bed rest, hall, blick. I'm going the wrong way. I could easily just do this. Wardening. Uh, no handling. No. Not a social guy. Cooking. Now, I kind of wouldn't mind having you butcher creatures. But, no, that's all Grizzly now. Grizzly can take care of that. That's his number one job. Even Snake Eyes. Well, if you got nothing to do, go ahead. Um, but Grizzly, you're also hunting. Mole, you're going to become maybe our number one hunter. Grizzly, let's make that a three for you. And then you'll start growing. Mole, let's get you a gun. Uh, I'm tempted to give you a sniper rifle for hunting. Yeah, let's have one guy with a sniper rifle. And what else? Hunting is a one. Your constructing is going to be right behind it. Although, is there anything we want you to do more than that? I'm just going to make, start these off as a two so we have some wiggle, wiggle room there. Uh, growing a three, great. Mining. Yeah, mining after growing. Smithing. So here we go. What do we want you doing? I want you cutting stone blocks. 
primarily. And maybe smelting. Which is not under here, I don't think. Yeah, weapons, machining, components. Your skill, you have the passion, but your skill is too low. So I don't want you doing that stuff. Same with tailoring. But... Um, I do want you doing all of these low-level crafting jobs. Operate on mechanoids. Although that does factor in your skill. Uh, at least in terms of speed, and I think how much you get out of the mechanoid. Um, so maybe I'll leave that to Snake Eyes. And now you're fine. Um, do that as a two. So craft what you can before you grow and mine. Um, but first, we clean. And then do a little hauling after your primary jobs. Uh, hmm. I'm going to bump all these up one. So you haul first. Well, no, hunt. Hunt first, then construct, then you can haul. And then you'll grow, and then mine. Okay. Now, we want to ease up on the cleaning for some of these guys. So, Snake Eyes, I want you to now bump this up. Definitely focus on your tailoring and your smithing first. Construct. Yeah, I mean, it needs to get done. We have a ma massive project, though. Yeah, I'm going to think about that. Uh, I don't want to get bogged down with it, but we'll get Mole working. I think we have a helmet for you. Thought we did. I don't remember selling it. Thought we'd been holding onto it for a while. Damn, yeah, guys. I mean, let's be able to... We're not going to be able to sell this for anything. Which makes me think maybe we want to get a smelting station going. We could break that into... Or a smithy, rather. 104... Smithy is a bench I don't use that often. I do not have a good spot for it. I mean, we could... That's really wedged in. Could do it there. And that looks stupid, but... I mean, it fits. And it gets the toolbox bonus. But I mean, just to break down weapons and maybe make melee weapons... We'll hold off, I think. Uh, the temperature. 114. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll take care of you. We, we already got this one up. We probably want a second one here. What, what's this room looking like? 86? Um, I'll tell you what. Hose these. And this, sh this should help this temperature. Since we're not using those rooms at the moment. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's already dropped a few degrees. Yeah, 80 is fine. Uh, oh, one guy. A digger, huh? What the hell's a digger? Let's see what that looks like. Hard worker, misogynist. Distrust women. Uh, I mean, we don't have any women with us now, although that'll change. So that's not really good. Hard worker, though. Yeah, we're kind of desperate for people. Injuries. Yeah. We'll try and recruit you. You are from... Oh, man. You're going to become enemies, though. Yeah, if he has a good stay, it'll boost up, and we'll just have to hold, bide our time. I don't want to get him into hostile territory, because I don't think they'll visit if they're hostile. Offended. Snake Eyes is not good at this. Really not good. I think he can still have a nice time, though. He's playing horseshoes. His room is mediocre. There's a good bed in there, a normal bed. Two, two goods, a normal, a poor. Okay, I don't know. All right, well, uh, we won't try to recruit him, uh, we, but we did add Mole, and we're plugging away. We'll try and get through this heat wave, and we'll see where we're at next time. Thanks for watching, guys.